Hello viewers from around the world and welcome back to another video. Today's video I've actually been meaning to make for quite some time now. I'm going to be showing you guys a very useful little prompt enhancer, at least that's what I call it. Essentially you put your basic idea into the prompt enhancer and then it outputs a full prompt for you to pretty much use in whatever your favorite image AI is. So you could use Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey. Dolly 2. It works for all of them and honestly it's pretty fun to use and it uses AI to enhance the prompts and I've actually developed this myself. It really wasn't too complicated or difficult but yeah I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys. Anyways as you can see uh, today I just like to bring up Mid Journey again. I know in my last video I talked about Mid Journey's uh, new beta. If you currently use Mid Journey and at the end of your prompt you type dash dash test or dash dash test p you can use their new beta algorithm, which is just absolutely incredible. As I said in my last video, it does incredible faces, incredible animals. I mean, look at some of the generations that we are getting out of this. I mean, this is coherency and level of detail we have not seen before. I'm not lying. This is better than Dolly 2, in my opinion, at least. Like, it's sharp. It's a clean image. This looks like a, like a human made it. I don't think Dolly 2 could really get this close to something like this without, you know, any artifacts. Same thing with this. Just look at the lighting that appears on this cat's face. It is incredibly coherent, incredibly detailed. Here's a nice one of a frog as well. It is just absolutely incredible what the new Mid Journey beta is capable of, and they're actually taking this beta down, I think, in the next 12 hours or so, because they want to release a better one. So they're going to be upgrading this even further. This isn't even the final form. And it is confirmed that this is all possible because of Stable Diffusion. Man, this one is just absolutely incredible. It's crazy how good this is. The amount of detail and the fur and everything is, it is astounding. But anyways, yeah, this is all possible because, of course, Stable Diffusion released, and now Mid Journey is mixing it up with Stable Diffusion. I don't know exactly what their uh, secret formula is here, but it's using Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey's weights and all that stuff to create some absolutely incredible artwork. It is really getting quite powerful, and in my opinion, this is better than Dolly 2 right now, at least for a large majority of things. One thing I don't like about Mid Journey, though, is why can't we generate in the browser already? I still have to generate through Discord, which is just super annoying. So if you click the link down in the description below, you will be brought to an OpenAI login page. This is going to take us to OpenAI's GPT-3 text generator which is absolutely fun to play around with and if you love AI stuff and you haven't tried GPT-3 out I highly suggest you do because it is absolutely incredible but we are going to be using it for our prompt enhancer today if you already have Dolly 2 access go ahead and log in or if you already have an open AI account again go ahead and log in but if you don't go ahead and make an account by signing up or you can continue with a Microsoft account or a Google account and GPT-3 by the way gives you an $18 worth of a free trial and it's also super cheap after that like maybe a few dollars with very very heavy use per month is how much it would cost and if you use this prompt enhancer I doubt you'll ever spend a more than a dollar a month anyways after signing in you are brought to this page right here so we can see some examples and stuff but what we're really interested in is up here in the corner where it says playground this is where we're going to be inputting my prompt enhancer so I go up and click on playground and then we're brought to this screen right here now this might look a little frightening and weird at first. This is the GPT-3 playground and this is where I have all my fun with GPT-3 AI. Basically how this works, you can type any prompt in like so. I'll just use this really simple one. The following is a list of dog names. And when I click this little submit button down here, the GPT-3 AI is going to do its best to complete the text. So in this case, we would achieve a list of dog names. Max, Rocky, Duke, Buddy, Zeus, Apollo. Anyways, we can use this AI's strong uh, text completion capabilities to go ahead and craft our very own prompt creator slash enhancer. So you guys might also see some settings over here on the side. To get this to work, we don't actually have to mess with any of those settings, just leave them all in the default. However, this setting seems to change around, so make sure this is on text DaVinci 002. Anyways, here is my little text generator prompt for enhancing your prompts. 
It's kind of clever how it's worded, and of course, I'll just paste this right in the description for you guys to copy right on over. The following is an input and output for a world-class, cutting-edge, advanced prompt enhancer for a text-to-image AI that professionally adds creative details and nuances to the prompt, as well as clearly and coherently re-describes the prompts put in the input. And by the way, guys, feel free to go ahead and mess around with this and try to add words and fine-tune this to make it better at outputting what it's supposed to output. And if you don't mind, paste them right in the comments of this video because I would love to see some enhanced versions of this little prompt enhancer that I've come up with. So obviously it's pretty simple from here on out. Our input prompt, this is where you type in your basic idea. I mean, you gotta have some sort of a basic idea to give it at least. So we'll say like Pixar style lemon wearing sunglasses. So that will be our basic little idea. And here in the output prompt, then we just click the submit button. And it did reformulate our prompt here. A lemon with sunglasses in the style of Pixar. That's, you know, that's a little bit better of a prompt. But I'm going to go ahead and regenerate this and see if we can get a little bit more detail. There we go. A lemon yellow fruit with two dark eyes wearing a pair of black sunglasses. The lemon is smiling and it has a small stem on top. So as you can see, this is quite a lot better than just Pixar style lemon. And by the way, this costs next to nothing to run if you already used up all your GPT-3 free credits for signing up with an account. As you can see, it's about six cents for a thousand tokens, and this is only 71 tokens. So running this costs a fraction of a cent. You can run this all day and not even hit a dollar of usage. And like I said, you get $18 worth of free credits when you sign up. So this is going to be pretty much free for you to use. And not only that, pretty soon they're actually going to be decreasing the cost of this. So this is going to be the new pricing, two cents per a thousand tokens, which is going to make it even cheaper. That's three times cheaper to run this. This is going to be dirt cheap. You can run this all day with your free trial. And then even if you use thousands and thousands and thousands of prompt enhancements, it's still going to be dirt cheap. So let's do a little comparison between these two prompts. Honestly, it's been a little while. I'm going to go ahead and use Dolly. So first we'll just do the Pixar style lemon wearing sunglasses. As you guys can see here, our Dolly generations are extremely basic with this prompt. I mean, it's definitely like Pixar style lemon wearing sunglasses, right? It's just a lemon character wearing sunglasses. Very, very basic though, just cartoony drawing. Now we're going to do a yellow lemon fruit with two dark eyes wearing a black pair of sunglasses. The lemon is smiling and has a stem on top. And we'll see if we get something a little bit better at least. We've got a mildly better generation here. I think it's definitely higher quality than the previous one. So it definitely enhanced this prompt a little bit, you know, slight enhancement. Although I think the one thing that's holding this back is it's not really explaining the medium that this image is supposed to be in. So because of this, what I recommend you guys do is just make sure you define whatever medium you want it to be in in the input prompt. So we'll just say 3D Pixar render. 3D Pixar render of a lemon wearing sunglasses. A 3D Pixar render of a lemon wearing sunglasses. The lemon is happy. Yellow fruit that is often used in baking or as decoration. Okay, I'm just going to delete that part. You don't have to use the whole output. The sunglasses are a fun accessory that makes the lemon look stylish and cool. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's just do the first prompt again just to retest this. Okay, these are actually pretty cool little generations. This one's uh, pretty funny looking. But let's see if we were able to use the prompt enhancer to get a little bit more character maybe out of this lemon. All right, our new generation here. The lemon is definitely smiling in all of these. Definitely very similar looking images, I think. Let's give something else a shot. Vintage photo of a cat who is a detective. And then we're going to... Run our little prompt enhancer. A well-dressed cat in a fedora and a trench coat stares intently at the camera, a magnifying glass clutched in one paw. This feline detective is on the case. Okay, it did a really good job, I think, with this one. So let's just do vintage photo of a cat who is a detective. We'll see how Dolly takes our initial prompt. Okay, this isn't too bad. These are actually nice little vintage cat photos. This one's a little malformed and scary looking, I'm not gonna lie. I like this one though, and you can see the little magnifying glass. So I'm gonna keep the vintage photo of, and then just copy the rest of our enhanced prompt and paste it in here. Vintage photo of a well-dressed cat in a fedora and a trench coat stares intently at, a, at the camera, a magnifying glass clutched in one paw. This feline detective is on the case. 
All right, we'll run this one. And I also want to run this prompt in Mid Journey as well, the new beta, and see if we get anything good. Okay, we definitely got some enhanced prompts, and now we're actually just seeing the straight up limitations of Dolly. This one right here is actually pretty darn good, though. He's definitely clutching the magnifying glass. This is the feline detective, so the prompt enhancer really did work its magic, I think, with this one in particular. But yeah, we're definitely seeing Dolly 2 limitations here. But the new mid journey is really good, so let's run it through mid journey. All right, so we've got some results to look at here. This was my first test with the beta. This is just a dash dash test with the same exact prompt here. And as you can see, it really just generated humans. I mean, the humans look nice and they're coherent, but where is the cat? The cat is supposed to be the detective who is clutching the magnifying glass. There is a little cat, though, poking out here, which I found great, but then I did dash dash test p and those results came out quite a lot better although again where is the magnifying glass however honestly i think these cats look better than dolly's cats dolly's cats are you know decent looking but they're malformed with the exception of maybe this one this one looks all right it's a pretty formed cat he's missing missing his whiskers on the other side of his face but all of these cats have weird malformed faces. That is horrifying. But these cats, not too bad, especially this one. I really like this one. This guy has eyes that are a little too big. Again, they're not really holding the magnifying glass either, but this is coherent and honestly better than Dolly's, I think, for these results at least. I also tried it again, except I removed the vintage. And again, we just got one person and then I got a cat over here. This one's not so bad either. And finally, I went ahead and I upscaled this one so there is the full res version of this one and i think honestly using our original idea of a cat who is a detective and then running it through the prompt enhancer getting a better prompt and then finally running it through mid journey and upscaling it yeah i think we definitely got a nice cat detective photo here from our original idea using all the tools that we used ai is just absolutely astounding and it's really amazing that we can get really nice images like this you know where he is definitely i would consider him a detective he looks like a detective pretty incredible stuff to say the least so yeah everyone feel free to give this a shot and let me know what you think also by the way guys whatever results you get using this prompt enhancer i would absolutely love to see them on my discord server which is linked right down below you can go ahead and post them in image generations and you can also submit prompt requests and other stuff like that on my discord so yeah everyone thank you so much for watching this video definitely give this a shot i will link everything down in the description below and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching